but that didn't take very long, did it? So the Pittsburgh Steelers got some breaking news going out right now. Um, per Adam Schefter and other inside sources, uh, the Steelers and kicker Chris Boswell have agreed on a four-year, $20 million extension with $12.5 million guaranteed, um, putting him at about an average of $5 million a year. It's a great move for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think this is something that needed to be done. I'm glad. Again, another early signing in training camp for Omar Khan, something that, you know, um, we're not having to wait all the way until the uh, damn, dang near the season start, re the regular season for um, Omar Khan to be signing um, or re-signing his free agents. I'm liking this move. This is going to be great when you have the likes of, of Tucker uh, in the division where, you know, when you're playing the Ravens, if they get on the other side of the 50-yard line, or they're going to make at least three points. And so with that being said, um, Chris Boswell has been arguably um, the second best or 1B to 1A, Justin Tucker, uh, as far as the uh, best field goal place kicker in the NFL. And let's go over a little bit of stats. So last year, um, Boswell was 36 for 40 at 90%. Um, you know, he was – the biggest stat for me was how clutch he was and how great he was in um, over 50 yards. He was 8 of 9 over 50. And, you know, his clutchness and his ability to kick down the field in well, what was Heinz Field, now Shore Stadium, has been unbelievable. I mean, it was a time where, um, you know, 48, 45 yards was kind of the range there in – and Heinz Field and and Boswell's pushed it. He's um, done amazing. He's done amazing for himself. It was the 2018 season where he was kind of a little bit in question. However, um, you know, it was all at the end found out to do with an injury. And so, you know, he's had a resurgence. He's came back and he's he's definitely earned this contract. So, what does this mean for Deontay Johnson? I think that, in my opinion, um, I don't think he's going to get signed. You know, you would you would think that uh, both players are entering the same situation in reference that they're in the last year of their contract. And you would think that the receiver one posi position would be of a higher value to the Pittsburgh Steelers than the uh, the kicker position. And so when you're signing the kicker first, that kind of leads me to believe that that signing is well, with the Deontay Johnson signing isn't probably going to happen. Not the extension. Um, yeah, I think he's highly underpaid this season. No doubt about it. You know, he's he's due to make less than three million or around three million this season. And, you know, he's actually making less than George Pickens, you know, receiver who hasn't done anything yet, who's arguably shown some great things in training cap. Can't take that away from him. However, he was given this contract, you know, before he, you know, put the pads on. And so, um, with that being said, you know, Deontay Johnson has proven to be a solid receiver. He's great at separation, great at route running. You know, when the pressure is on or in high pressure moments, I'm not sure if it's because of the lights or if it's because of the uh, the elements, you know, later on you are in the season, the colder it's going to get. And so I don't know if those things have an effect on his drops. Um, he also had a notorious amount of drops past 15 um, yards down the field for the last couple of years. And so uh, those things, in my opinion, because of those things, and because of the uh, the signing of Chris Boswell today, it's my opinion that uh, um, Deontay Johnson is not going to get done, at least not in the uh, 20 million a year range or or these uh, other receivers that are getting here recently. It's outrageous. You know, Debo Samuels just got uh, got the bag or, you know, and it's it's one of those things where um, if if Sam, if Debo was on, on the Steelers team, I don't think I'd be keen on the organization paying him that much as well. I mean, I understand what he does and he plays multiple roles. However, it's kind of like that situation where, you know, you look at the running back position at that point, one, at one point that running back position was overinflated as well. I mean, you look at what the New Orleans Saints would, you know, deal with Ricky Williams and things of that nature. I feel that with seven on seven ball, with spring ball, it's kind of, it's not only, you know, bringing in better quarterbacks into the league that are more prepared for the game that can read defenses and and, pay, and play more complex game, but it's also improving the, um, the receiver position. And so, well, because of that, um, and you having these receivers coming in out of the draft and and doing some great things early on in their career, um, the value of the receiving position is going to eventually go down. And like I've said it before, with Omar Khan as a general manager who's a finance guy, I think at that point is when he'll be more advantageous to, 
to re-sign a receiver to a second-year contract. You know, wait until the hype dies down on the position, so to speak. But that's what I got for you guys today. Let me know in the, let me know in the comment section what you think about this signing or this extension. You like it? Did you think that maybe perhaps the Steelers should have got Deontay Johnson done first? Let me know if you guys think Deontay Johnson is going to get done. You know, please hit that like and subscribe button. You don't want to miss any of our daily daily segments and our breaking news. We also do a weekly uh, weekly live. With that being said, guys, I'm Daniel J. This is State of the Steelers, and peace.